Welcome to Freya Phoenix Tarot. We are the Phoenix Tarot Tribe. I'm glad this video found you. Hopefully, you guys stick around a while and become part of our soul tribe. We have been left out, counted out, kicked while we were down, and like a phoenix, we rose from the ashes. If this sounds like your story, then maybe we are your soul tribe. Please go ahead and click the subscribe button if the video resonates for you. Um, we have already started with praying and saging. I normally do it off camera so it saves a little bit of time. And today I've channeled a song for us. It is Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee. I'm not sure if you guys have heard that song yet. I think it's a good one. There may be a message in that song for you. And today, the stone that I will be using, the crystal that I was called to uh, pray over, is black obsidian. So, we're going to start with some, um, some oracle cards. Let's see where the energy is. This is the Love Tarot, and we're going to start with these, and then we're going to get some tarot on it and figure out what the universe wants us to know. You guys may have messages, questions about a situation, a job, a family situation, a relationship. Any of those things can, uh, we look to tarot for, just for more clarity in our situations and just trying to figure out who we are as people as well. So if this sounds like your story, you are a part of us. Definitely stick around and we'll see what happens. Spirit, please give us clarity and tell us the things that we need to know, things that may be hidden or things we may be overlooking for our highest good. We want to make decisions that are based on love and honesty. Always. Okay, we're having a problem shuffling. Let's see. I'm being called to shuffle again. Well, Mother's Day is coming up. I wonder if you guys are doing anything special, if you guys even still have plans. You know, a lot of things changed after COVID, not just because of COVID, but um, the family dynamics, a lot of the dynamics that we typically know are a little bit different now. Okay, we have You're Mysterious. Says, I can never figure out, I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. So somebody feels like you are mysterious. They don't know where they stand with you. Um, maybe you're just a person that keeps to yourself. Okay, that was fast. Um, we have my fantasy. Says you, you're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you. Ooh, spicy. I like that. Somebody is really intrigued with you. Maybe it's a, a new person. Maybe it's an old person. We don't know. You know, could be any of those. We have you're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversations. And on the bottom of the deck we have, is it true? It says, I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Her, please tell me it isn't. Okay, that, that kind of feels like maybe someone lost you. 
and now they want to uh, maybe they're just rethinking their situation they're reflecting on the lost and they're wondering if they might even have a chance which they see it that they wouldn't if you're already dating someone else or you've moved on you healed and moved on from the situation maybe it was a bad breakup or maybe it really wasn't you know what what either of you wanted at that time but someone is is very curious about what's going on in your personal love life at this time oh, wow crack the deck on the tower and the seven of swords okay that's pretty interesting All right, Spirit, please give us clarity on your so mysterious. The Page of Swords wanted to come out. Someone is watching you. Someone wants to communicate. Pages are messages for me. So this person, you're their fantasy. I don't know if this is the same person that is like, oh my gosh, are you have you moved on? Is it really over? You know, please tell me it isn't true. This person that is in their um, in their feelings about the situation. We have the chariot, major arcana for Cancer. Maybe you're dating a Cancer. Maybe you're a Cancer. Maybe you have Cancer in your chart. There is no gender in tarot. These are general collective energy readings. So these messages could apply today. They could apply six months from now. They may um, apply a year from now. We never know. We have justice coming in. Major Arcana for Cancer. Maybe there was a situation and someone wants to bring balance into that situation or the universe may be bringing balance in we have the two of swords maybe you guys weren't seeing eye to eye in the situation previously Spirit, please, please give us clarity on the two of swords to the justice we have strength this situation called for strength um, you guys are not in communication with this energy because they are asking, is it true that you have moved on? And they're realizing that you are their fantasy. You're mysterious, but they also are intrigued with your intellect. They love it. It turns them on that you are so smart and they really, really enjoy your conversations. It says, you're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart, and I really enjoy our conversations. So, yeah, this person is a thinker. They have been in their head. They are definitely figuring out how they feel about you. Maybe it's been a while. Maybe you thought they moved on. Maybe they did. Maybe, it, maybe they didn't. You know, maybe you did move on. Maybe you didn't. Ultimately, somebody wants to know if there's even worth if it's even worth them trying to get a chance from you because they they think that you're what they want they're seeing that they want you spirit please give us clarity on my fantasy oh that's a lot that is too much very much too much um, I'm not going to take all of these but I am I'm going to show you guys what they are we have the knight of cups to the, ma the magician someone is manifesting a love offer yeah somebody wants to know if you are available because they may be in love with you this high priestess knows that there is something going on and they are standing their ground with this energy someone is being seen in this nine of pentacles energy is probably with that falling over this high priestess um 
Yeah, this Knight of Pentacles wants to come in with a stable offer, but something happened in the past that it just did not work. I don't know what these things are. I don't know your life. You know, we just read the energy. And what I'm getting here is somebody's realizing that they made a humongous mistake. Maybe this person put life before your situation, your, um, it could be a, a situation where you guys really didn't get the chance to get to know each other or anything like that. Perhaps someone thought the grass was greener somewhere else. You never know. I mean, the chariot is about forward movement, thinking of a victory. This person is now seeing this victory with you and they want to bring in justice with the justice to the chariot. Okay, that wanted to come out. We have death. We have death on the board. Um, death to me could be the end of a situation. Maybe somebody wants it to be over this not speaking phase that you guys were going through. You know, the not, someone misses you, misses you. They look at your picture. They have videos of you. I dare to say when they say you, you I use them for inspiration. They may be doing a lot of getting inspired to learn them own, their own selves. There may be some passion involved. You know, them thinking about past times. Maybe you were with this person physically. We have the Queen of Pentacles. They want, they see you as stable and they want something with you because you are their fantasy. I don't know why this is bothering me, but it is. You are their fantasy and they want to make a stable um uh, make it make the situation stable they want this victory and it's they're having strength and they're going to come to you and let you know like you're you're everything that they want but they can't do that if they are thinking that you're with someone else this person may have taken some time to figure out what they really wanted maybe they thought there was somebody else or maybe there was someone else or maybe they just needed time to heal. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. Somebody wants to come out the code. Somebody wants you back in a major way. In their mind, you're everything. They want to give you a brand new offer. Again, falling under my fantasy, we have the ace of wands. Wands are about passionate movement. That could be in life. That could be in the bed with this person saying, I have your pictures and videos saved. It's someone from your past. I know, I know. We may not want somebody back from the past. Um, this person, you already know, wants to come back and give you a love offer. Which, it, it makes sense if they're asking, is it true, you're a fantasy, they have videos of you, unless, you know, it's some other stuff going on. Um, what else fell out was the the sun, was the sun, the um, three of pentacles, wanting to work on something with you, the world, which is something that is destined to be, it's, it's this king of swords, this analytical thinker wants to offer you an ace of cups. A love offer is somebody from your past that you are no longer dealing with for whatever the reasons are and this person thinks that you're really mysterious which is it has to be some kind of turn on for them you know like for them to feel like oh well I think that's who I really want that is my fantasy okay let's see what fell out we have the devil. Oh my goodness. We have the devil in reverse. And we have the four of wands under you're so smart. And we have the ace of cups. Somebody wants a higher level of commitment with you. 
after being in a very toxic energy, which may be why you walked away. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to read the energy and get clarity for us to make better decisions in our situations, in our lives. We have the seven of wands. You have up strong boundaries against this person. They hurt you. They let you down. They may have... Um, whatever situation you were in may not have been what you expected or maybe even them. But someone was let down. And now you have your boundaries up. You're very guarded against this energy. But this energy is very passionate... They want to bring you this love offer and heal this situation. They want to bring justice to this situation. They want to probably make passionate love, yes. But they also, they love you. They're realizing that they love you. You're everything that they're looking for. You're mysterious. You're a fantasy. You're smart and intellectual. You guys can talk and have great conversation. Probably talk for hours about any and everything. We have the Empress in reverse. Okay. That doesn't fit the situation. So let's let's talk to Spirit. Spirit, why is the Empress in reverse? Spirit, please give us more on this Empress in reverse. Oh, the cards are talking. Let's see. We have someone walking away. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse, and we have we have the Eight of Cups. Someone is walking away from this Empress. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. They are taking back their love offer. They no longer want to. They no longer see a love in this situation. We have oh, this person is sneaking away. We have the Seven of Swords falling on top of the Eight of Cups, the walking away. Who? This Page of Wands. This person that is seeing you has wish fulfillment. Oh my goodness. This is, it, it, it got juicy real fast. Let's talk about it. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Somebody is going to end up walking away from a situation. Something Someone committed somewhere, and they're now realizing that that's not what they want. This Empress in reverse. The Empress in reverse is someone that is manipulative. They're not stable. They're not um, nurturing, caring. Just, they're loud. Very forceful. It's, this person is trying to get away from the situation they are sneaking away it may be um, a separation and this person is wanting to get a divorce it could be many of things like i said i don't know you guys situation you gotta uh, apply it where it applies don't force it but what fits fits your life and be honest with yourself because nobody knows yourself but you and your you in the universe and you if you're being honest with your own self you can make decisions that are best for your highest good we have limitation and fear coming out in reverse so where somebody was feeling limited and they were scared maybe because you were so mysterious they're no longer in fear of what this relationship could be they know it could be something amazing and they are getting assistance from their guides someone is praying that they get another chance with you. Spirit, give us more, please. Someone is, is realizing their self-worth, and now they have new expectations. This person was vibrating in a low, low energy, which attracted this empress in reverse. So this person may have been out in the streets for the asphalt, as we say. <laughs> Somebody that was just out there doing the absolute most. And we have reunion and soul ties in reverse. 
this person does not want to be reunited with this empress in reverse. There may have been a, there may have been a soul tie or a soul contract that may now be up. They may have fulfilled what they needed to fulfill. We have ace. We have water energy, which is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy. This person does not have to be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. They may ha just have it in their chart. That water energy is emotions and someone is healing their inner child. Trying to move away from, sneak away from this queen, uh, this emperor, I'm, excuse me, in re this empress, excuse me, in reverse. They are trying to heal their inner child so that they don't make the same mistakes that they have been making because they were at a point confused with confusion neptune and illusions this queen of uh, this empress i'm so sorry she may have manipulated situations and caused confusion while this person was living in their self node and they were in their comfort zone most definitely they were clinging maybe these people were trauma bonded Maybe they share children. Maybe there's a family, a business, or something that, that kept these people together. And as I say a family, I see seeds. And I see spring. And I know this is not showing a child, but where we're from, where I'm from, seeds are children as well. Because they have to be nurtured and taken care of, and they take time to grow. Maybe somebody's at the end of a cycle... And these seeds are starting to flourish on their own. And someone is realizing that they need to walk away from this. We have avoidance. Someone is avoiding this tower. Someone is at a stalemate trying to avoid the tower and also integration and union. This person, this empress in reverse does not want your union to happen. They are trying to keep this, this energy at a stalemate and they want to keep them confused and in their south node because it's easy to manipulate them. This water sign <clears throat> is where these people are moving toward. This energy is moving toward freedom. It says freedom, leap, Uranus energy, and opportunities. And the last one we have is Earth. We have Earth energies. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck, we have, we have regret and repression. Someone regrets dealing with this energy. Or even being in this energy of low vibrational, being in their self node, you know, which kept them confused and in a union because of soul ties with this empress in reverse. This empress in reverse is not doing the healing. If they were, they would not be in reverse. I mean, you know, you kind of understand that part of it. And the avoidance is... Causing this person to realize what they want. They are now in regret for dealing with this energy. You know, sometimes we meet people and we think that they are one way because that's how they perceive themselves to be. But it takes a while to figure out that they are a total different thing than what they want you to see. And that's no shade on, on us. If you are in a situation genuinely... And you're being your true authentic self. You would expect your mate, your your partner to do the same. Sorry guys. These, these cards are hearts. And I was trying to shuffle. And now they're everywhere. So I'm just trying to turn them. So I can go ahead and pick a couple. I'll probably get, get two of them. Because someone is seeing you as wish fulfillment. They want you. You're probably what this person been praying for for a while, but they may have been stuck with this water energy or this earth energy or someone that has that in their natal chart. 
We have look deeper within your heart and you'll, you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This person really, really is realizing that they are in love with you. You make them feel something someone probably has never, ever, ever made them feel. And it don't matter how long they are with this other energy. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about y'all and how smart you are. And they are just definitely asking for your forgiveness. It says, um, stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to wait. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So again, we have to vibrate in our highest good and we can bring in anything that we want. We have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Okay, so this person is trusting the universe. Trusting the universe to do what is right for them. And if you trust the universe, you can't go wrong. There's less regret. You know, healing is a lifetime journey. So yes, we will, we will always be healing. But they will be doing it right next to you because they see you as their fantasy. But first, they got to get out of whatever this is that they're stuck in. They're healing. They're learning. They're not fearful. Their guides are giving them the assistance to get through this confusion. Even if this person is trying to keep them at a stalemate. They are out of that devil energy, that obsessive energy. And they are now working toward building something new and trying to do it with you. So pray to the universe, tell, tell the universe what it is you want, what it is you need, and trust that the universe is going to bring it to you, but it's going to be in a timely fashion for the universe, because what we want may not be what we are ready for at this moment, and some things do take time. Well, this has been your reading. I hope everybody is happy, healthy, and well. Definitely. Do subscribe if you like my vibes, but also if you feel like you are part of our soul tribe, feel free or you know someone, share the video. Encourage someone else today. I appreciate you guys sticking around till the end. Please like the video if it resonated for you and we'll see you back next time.